Hello everybody, it's me Hattie and I'm back with my brand new Let's Play on my channel which is going to be all about the pomegranate family. Now a Let's Play has been one of the most requested things on my channel for such a long time so I finally decided to do one. I picked a family which I absolutely fell in love with at first sight. I didn't actually create Peel Our Pomegranate myself, I got her from a really really talented Sims 4 creator of the Sims 4 gallery but her children I made myself so I made the two girls that are going to be in her family, her children. But anyway, so Pilar's backstory is that she wants to move to a brand new town of Wittenberg. The reason being is because she's had such a difficult time in her old neighbourhood. Her husband, who was a detective, he disappeared and nobody knows where he went. But it was four years ago, he never came back and Pilar really wants a brand new start. She wants to start again, meet new friends, maybe find somebody special because she doesn't know what happened to her husband. Some people have been saying that he's trying to find his way back. Some people have been saying that he ran off with another woman. And others have been saying that he's probably never going to return because the worst thing happened to him, which was, of course, death. But anyway, so Pilar Pomegranate is a chef. She wants to become a master chef, though. She's already level six of her career, so she's pretty high up, which means that she can afford a nice house for her children and they can have the finer things in life, which is nice for Pilar. So she's family orientated, she's a foodie, and she's also a perfectionist. Moving on to Scarlett's youngest daughter, who's Scarlett Pomegranate. Now Scarlett Pomegranate is a really, really lovely child. She's very optimistic and she wants to make lots of new friends in this area. She didn't really have many friends where she used to be, so she's looking forward to meeting new people and maybe starting a group. She doesn't know. But anyway, Scarlet Pomegranate is a social butterfly. She is pretty social when it comes to things. She likes having parties and kids hangouts and stuff, club hangouts, stuff like that. Anyway, that's what Scarlet likes to do. She's also an art lover, so she's pretty creative and maybe she's gonna be an artist when she grows up. I'm not sure. Anyway, moving on to Jane Pomegranate, who is the teenager of the family. She is a bit of a rebel, I think. And Jane is in a bit of a difficult situation because she did not want to move to Windenburg. She wanted to stay just where she was because she was worried that her father, if he ever returned, would not be able to find them if they moved. And she put up such a fight about it. Like she was really, really arguing with her mum at the time. So I don't know if they get on that well. Like I'm not exactly sure. But Jane Pomegranate is a very vulnerable person as well because if she gets involved with the wrong group in Wittenberg, then that could really, really change her personality in the future. She could develop traits when she grows up, which might not be very good for her. And she could really get into the wrong group and it could really change her because she doesn't know where she fits in at the moment. So she is quite a vulnerable person. But anyway, so Jane Pomegranate is a soulmate. Is a soulmate, is she? I thought she was too romantic, but oh well. She's a soulmate. So Jane Pomegranate is somebody that wants to find her one but she is jealous so that's not very good because that could mean that when she does find her one she's going to be super jealous of everybody around them but she's also romantic which will definitely give her a head start and we will see what happens in the town of Windenburg if there will be anybody for Jane we'll just have to see but I did put in lots and lots of new groups myself which I'll be introducing to you in a second so yeah that is pretty much Jane that is the pomegranates summed up so I'm going to show you their house now and we're going to jump into live mode Okay, so we are with the family now. We are at their house in the center of Windenburg. So I'm just gonna show you around really, really briefly before we kind of jump into anything. So this is the house which they're gonna be living in and it's got no roof. <laughs> no, it's got a roof. So this is the house. This is the house which I created myself. It's on the Sims 4 gallery. If you wanna go and download it, I'm gonna leave the links below. And I also did a speed build of it so you can go and check that out if you want to. But I'm just gonna briefly show you around it because I did actually change some things about it. But Windenburg is looking pretty beautiful at this precise time. I did also put some other things in my neighborhood, so you'll probably be noticing that. I've got a lot of builds which I just haven't shared yet or I don't want to share, so there's a lot of works in progresses going on here. <laughs> so anyway, this is the house. This is their beautiful home. I put in a teenage bedroom, that's the main thing that I changed upstairs. But this is Pilar's room here, which is a very neutral, very mature room. This one's Jane's, and this one is Scarlett's. So Scarlett's 
the child so she has the shoebox room which is the smallest room because that's always what I used to have being the smallest child being the youngest sister I always used to get like the shoebox rooms which were the smallest so <laughs> that was my life this would have been my room <laughs> anyway so this is Jane's room it's a very teenage room and I did change this around a little bit so if you just saw the speed build it looks a little bit different to this but I like the whole purple and black feel about this room I think that I will change it a little bit more when Jane really does develop her personality personality and she becomes her own individual person and if she becomes girly then I'll make it more girly if she becomes gothy then I'll make it pretty gothic but we'll just see what happens but anyway this is the downstairs so let's go downstairs now so downstairs is pretty much the way that it was in the speed build but I changed the lounge around slightly so the lounge is very very uh, mixed with the new stuff pack that we got i really love the things that we got from there so i definitely wanted to include them because i just love them and then the rest of the house is just pretty neutral if you haven't seen it already i just made it blue and green yellow pinks just very very beautiful pastel colors because that's what i like in this house i'll probably change it as well at some point i'll probably make the house more fitted to them like as soon as i've really really started thinking about their personalities and yeah i'll make them their own home but at the moment they live in mariana's cottage which is the house which i made so yes anyway so the groups that i made i made quite a lot of groups but in case you haven't seen the groups yet i'm just going to go briefly through the groups that we already have so we have the avant garde who are the people that like to do homework the garden gnomes are the people that like to do gardening knights the hedge like to dress up as knights and go for parties the League of Adventurers. Now, I was very disappointed about this group because I thought that it was a science group for scientists and it was a really exclusive group. I was waiting for them to show up and it turns out to be a group of children, which isn't bad, but I just wasn't expecting it. So there's that. Anyway, the Paragons like to be mean to people and they are pretty much the mean girls of the town. But I also put in my own mean girls, which I'm gonna be introducing to you in a second. The powerhouse who like to do sports, renegades who are the rebels, spin masters who like to dance, team bro the fakes and gothic nightmares are all the groups that I put in myself, the good timers are the people that like to have a good time of course, the other Chris who like to eat. So I'm going to start with team bro who are the group of teenagers which I put in this specific town. Now team bro are a lovable bunch of teenage boys and they enjoy sports, they are jocks basically that is the role of them I haven't filled the group up completely yet I'll probably be adding some sims in or I'll be having like competitions in the future if you want to create your own bro then I'll make a hashtag in the future and we can do that the team bro is run by a jock called Tommy he is an absolute heartbreaker and he's actually broken a certain girl's heart who we do not want to get on the wrong side of. So I'll come to her in a second. Their description is, go team bro, do you like sports and looking buff? Maybe this club's for you if you're lucky enough to get an invite. The club hangout is the Norhal Arms, which is a club which I specifically made for them and also the fakes, which I'm gonna be introducing to you in a bit. But anyway, their requirements are that you have to be a bro, you have to be a teen, and the club activities are that they want to kiss everybody, they want to woohoo with everyone, they want to be romantic with everybody, they want to work out, and they want to use the hot tub. Now for Jane, I feel like Jane does have to be careful with this group because I don't want them treating her like one night stand material or anything because that is definitely not what Jane's looking for. She's looking to find the one and maybe she'll find her one out of these guys. I'm just not sure, we'll have to see them. Hopefully we'll bump into a few, hopefully she can make friends with a few don't know we will definitely definitely try to go to the normal arms though because that will be a lot of fun <laughs> so anyway we're going on to the fakes now which is a group of girls now these are my own mean girls which I created I wanted them to look meaner than the paragons I wanted them to be a lot meaner so their description is why are you even looking over here seriously your groups over there which I just think is the cattiest thing that they could have said. It's just so, so catty. Their club hangout is the Norhal Arms, which is shared with Team Bro. They really like to stay close to Team Bro. They like to watch them and make sure that they're not up to no good. And that is pretty much what they do. They get pretty jealous of anybody that likes to interfere with their groups and they can be pretty mean if people are mean to them. And they like to be mean for fun as well. So that is them. Their requirements are that you have to be mean to be in this group. So unfortunately, Jane can't join yet. But 
if Jane did want to convince the leader Tasman that she was worthy, then maybe Tasman would take the requirements off because Jane's traits at the moment are jealous and romantic. So she wouldn't fit this at the moment, but maybe she will in the future. So Tasman is completely, completely besotted with Tommy. She really, really desperately wants to be his girlfriend. And there is a bit of a love story going on. There's a lot of drama with fakes. And I think that Tasman would be very, very angry if we did go near Tommy because they kind of have a thing together. So I am just not sure what is going to happen. But anyway, the other girls in the group, Amy and Courtney, are pretty harmless apart from the fact that they're very two-faced and quite mean but of course we will try to be friends with them if the opportunity does come up the next group that i created are the gothic nightmares i created this group to be the rebels so they're a little bit like the renegades i think that they're a fun group though because they have their own backstory blondie the leader was actually in the fakes and she got kicked out because Tasman decided that one day she didn't want to be friends with Blondie anymore. She thought Blondie was a bit too strange for her, a bit too extravagant. So Blondie packed up and left and started her own group of these rebellious girls. Now their club hangout is the Von Holt estate, which is the haunted mansion in Windenburg, which we're going to go and explore in a bit. But their slogan is or description, yeah, description. <laughs> the description is, do you ever feel like you don't fit in anywhere? Maybe you want to appreciate the dark things in life. Maybe you have a place in the gothic nightmares. Now, the strange thing is, Jane does actually fit the requirements of this group. We're playing as Pilar at the moment. So actually what I'll do is I'll just switch characters, go and join a club and we can go into the gothic nightmares, yes. So she does fit both of these. She's both jealous and she is a teen, so she could potentially join this group if she wanted to but i think that this would be potentially a good starting ground for jane it could be a place where she could figure out what she likes what she doesn't like and i don't know maybe it could be a good starting friendship i'm not sure but anyway the leader can get pretty nasty so she's got to be careful of her because blondie can be angry a lot of the time in fact every single time i've seen blondie on the sims 4 she has been the most angriest most horrific sim i have ever ever seen she is mean to everybody and she's just super super angry in fact the last time i kind of set this game up blondie and jessica had like a full-on fight so i think she's got to be careful of blondie a bit because blondie is a little bit too hands-on like that so I don't know. But anyway, their club activities are that they want to woohoo with everybody, they want to be romantic with everyone, they want to scare the fakes, they want to be mischievous to the fakes, and they want to possess objects. Now, I'm not exactly sure how they can possess objects, unless they're ghosts, but I don't know. Because with them being hanging out at the Von Holt estate, they could actually recruit some ghosts into their group, because we've got some free spaces. I am not sure yet. But I'm honestly thinking that in the future, I am probably going to start trying to make my own groups this whole game. So the groups like the Overcrust and the Good Timers, I think will eventually fade out and I'll start to have more groups, like actual cliques. Like I'll put some geeks in, I'll put some other kind of people in, like clubbers, things like that. Are they called clubbers? Hipsters, that's it, hipsters. <laughs> Hipsters, how can I forget? So yeah, I will. I'll have a go and I'll put some groups like that in, hopefully. And if you want to make any groups for this, then please just send me the links. Seriously. If you want to use my hashtag, which is Hattie Sims, then use that and I will have a look at it as soon as possible. But anyway, we're going to jump into live mode. So they are pretty hungry, I think. I think that that's a general rule when any sim gets to a new area, they are always, always hungry. So Pilar is a chef as we all know it by now. <laughs> She's got work in a little bit, but I think it would be actually quite nice if Pilar made her family some food because that would be quite nice if she served some dinner. She could serve some fish and chips because I love fish and chips. That is my confession. I miss it so, so much. I used to live in England, live in Germany now. There is no fish and chips anywhere that I can see and I really miss it. So <laughs> I would love some, but they can have some instead. I can settle for that. So anyway, they are all pretty hungry, but they seem to be eating. Where are they? Where's the food? Oh, there's loads and loads of food on the table. Well, that is pretty good. Fruitcake is quite healthy, I suppose. That is okay. And that is definitely what Jane Pomegranate would eat anyway. I like how they're being sassy about their food though. <laughs> they are having a full on argument about what fruit is in their cake, obviously. That is 
a heated discussion. So, right, maybe Jane could join a club? Or, in fact, let's see who's around the neighbourhood. Because sometimes in this neighbourhood, there'll be sims kind of like lurking in between places. So I think we've just got to be careful. We've just got to see what's going on. And there seems to be some sims out already, which is nice. So I don't know if any of them are the right ages. Something that I really, really have noticed though is there's a lot of artwork hanging about. What's going on? Is there an art exhibition? This is amazing. Is that a portrait? Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Okay, who is this Antonio Pellini? Because I need to find him. He needs to paint a family portrait of these three and we need to get it done as soon as possible because I want a portrait for the house. So I'm guessing that Antonio Pellini is hanging about here. I mean, I don't know. Where is this mystery Antonio Pellini? Is that him over there? Because if we can make friends with him, then he can paint us a painting. No, that is just Don Lothario having a bro hug. <laughs> Look at them, that is so cute. So I don't know where this Antonio Pellini is, but if anybody spots him or knows who he is, the mystery behind his paintings, please let me know because I really, really want that. I don't actually recognize those old age pensioners. I do not recognize them at all, but that is a gorgeous, gorgeous painting. So I hope, hope that we can get that sorted at some point, hoping that you can hook us up with some artwork. So anyway, this is the club which I created. This is the Norhall Arms, or at least the new version. I am eventually gonna be redecorating all of this lovable bunch of houses or venues, I guess. And I'm going to be making them into my own. I'm going to be doing some interesting stuff with them. Or at least I'm hoping to anyway. I'm hoping that eventually I will have a library here, a coffee shop here, and some other interesting stuff. But yeah, let's just go to the lounge. Maybe we should just bring the two with us. Because I don't actually know how exclusive this lounge is. And even so, even if it's going to be super exclusive, I think that these three would not have any idea on how exclusive it was. Also, I've seen a lot of other Sims using this group when the official groups aren't actually having their club meetings. So I think that this would be pretty good to kind of go there together. And I think it would be fun. It would be fun to just kind of take them all somewhere and go out together. So yeah, it's a bit unusual that she's kind of turning up with her mum. Is the mum not going? I can't remember if I, I, can't remember if I didn't click her mum, but... I'm not sure. But anyway, so her mum's not going. Maybe her mum's like, no, I need to do some stuff at home. So I'm gonna be busy, 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 busy. So this is the group club hangout. So we've got some interesting stuff going on here. I'm gonna introduce you to the bottom floor really briefly. So we have the bar area, which already has a mean girl hanging out at the bar area, just kind of talking to the staff. We've got a club dance area, which is quite nice. We've got some places that they can go on video games. We've got upstairs. Okay, my favorite area. I've got, I've got, to, I've got to introduce you to this. This is a secret mirror, which the only people that can see what's going on are the people on the other side of this mirror. Now they can exactly see who is trying to enter the club and they can choose whether to let them in or not. At least that's what I like to think. This is the hot tub area, the football area. I guess. <laughs> this is probably where the chocks would watch football. And there's quite a few people here. Now, Roderick Davoli is Tommy Davoli's father. So I guess that's why he would be here. He would be chilling out with his friends as well, because there's a lot of guys that are around his age, like kind of this middle-aged cool guy look. He will probably, probably be having his own group at some point. And this is actually his ex-wife down here, which is really, really strange. But yeah, we'll come to that in a, in a little bit, but that is a super, super strange story for another time. But anyway, let's talk to Courtney. I don't know why we can't click on her though. Why can't we click on her? Why can't we click on her? We can click on him, but we can't click on Courtney. That is so, so strange. I don't know why. It's like she's refusing to talk to us. She just disappeared. She's just gone. She didn't even walk that, she didn't even walk that way. She just went. That is so strange. I think that what will happen is while we are on the lookout for teens, I really wanna get this canvas framed. And I think the person to do it would be the lovable Scarlet. I think that 
she would steal this picture, she'd put it in her inventory. If we can do that, can we do it? Admire? Mm. Okay, we can't. Apparently we can't do it. We cannot take that photo and we can't do anything fancy with it. Which is a shame, because I actually want that on my wall. I don't know those grandparents, but they could actually be ours. We could just pretend that this family had grandparents and they had a nice picture of them up on the wall, but I don't know. Oh, so this club is filled filled with middle-aged people and also elderly. I get a lot of elderly people on my game, so I will just tell you that straight away. In fact, my neighbourhood to begin with was about 95% elderly and then I started to change some things around on it. So <laughs> that is my sim story. So I don't think there's much going on there, so I think the I think I would still like Jane to try out the uh, the gothic nightmares yeah because i think that it would be interesting and also it's getting pretty late it's half past seven we haven't bumped into any teens yet which i'm super super surprised about because they just don't seem to be out at this time i mean we've bumped into courtney but she didn't want to speak to us so yeah we'll probably just go and see what the gothic nightmares are like maybe she'll find some friends there even if she doesn't it's all a learning experience and we'll see what happens so, we've just started a club gathering. Jane should make a good first impression on the Gothic Nightmares who are gathering. She should socialise with the club members and ask to apply to the Gothic Nightmares if things go well. Okay, so, we shall see. I think the best person to maybe introduce ourselves to is, of course, the club leader. So, we're at the Von Holt estate as well. Just gonna zoom out quickly. I don't know how many people haven't seen this yet, but it's stunning. It is absolutely stunning. And I really, really love this. I keep looking for ghosts over here though, and I just, I just can't see any. I've only ever seen two ghosts here, and that is the amount that I've seen. I've only seen Mimsy and her husband, Roderick, I think? Yeah, Roderick. So that's what's going on, but everybody seems pretty happy, which is nice. And Caroline Kingsley, Tasman Kingsley's mum turned up. She's looking pretty shocked about something. Maybe she's shocked about the fact that she knew Jane was coming to the town and she thought that Jane would be friends with her daughter. She's running away. I hope she's not spying on us. I hope she's not gonna spy on us. I don't like spies. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen here. He just followed us from his club, which is interesting. So he's there now. But I do wanna talk to Blondie. I want to uh, not apply to the Gothic Nightmares just yet because I really, really want to see what's going on. I don't know why everybody's so angry, but people are looking super, super angry at Blondie. I mean, what's she done? I mean, what? I mean, this this woman, this person here, this is Roderick Devoli's wife, by the way. I should have just said that. That is Tommy Devoli's mum, the leader of the jock school team bro. Brother. But anyway, she's looking like this Blondie girl has just stolen her life savings or something. That is an insane way to look at somebody. If anybody looked at me like that, I would be really, really upset. <laughs> I get upset when people give me dirty looks and I don't like it. I don't look dirty back at them, but I think a happy look, a smile, it really, really makes me feel happy and it just changes my mood. Like when someone gives me a smile, it's like the nicest thing ever and I feel happy for the rest of the day. But sometimes when people look at me like, I'm nothing and I'm rubbish, then yeah, <laughs> not very good. This girl is feeling super tense though. I think we should definitely talk to, oh gosh, oh gosh, there's a fight, are you kidding? Is this what these girls do in their spare time? Do we seriously wanna be a part of this group? I feel a bit shaken up just watching that to be quite honest with everybody. I feel, I feel personally targeted by this girl, Kirsten Oswald. Why did you hit her? What has she done to you? I mean, that was, horrible that was so 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 nasty i just don't think we're going to fit into this group whatsoever i think maybe at this point then maybe maybe we talk to gina dozier and we could get an invitation back to her house i don't know but i definitely know that's where tommy would be and i do want to see tommy in this lp and i'm hoping that we'll be able to bump into him fingers crossed so we'll have to see. Maybe we can actually go somewhere with Gina Dozier because things are not going very well with Blondie. Maybe, in fact, maybe what we have to do is 
Maybe we have to get Blondie alone. Maybe Blondie and Jessica. If we got those two alone together, then things would be okay. But I think that this Kirsten girl, the way that she hit that other girl, she seems like a nasty piece of work. And I don't want to. I don't want to socialize with her. She looks horrid. I don't know her backstory. In fact, I'll probably go into a bit more specific detail about Kirsten's backstory at some point because she is so strange. I think she's regretting like what she's just done and she's talking through like what's just happened in the mirror to herself because yeah, breathe in, breathe out Kirsten because you've just hit somebody and things are not gonna go very well from here because other people could get involved, take some sides and stuff. It looks like the group though is maybe ignoring her a bit. I don't know, because everybody else is gathered. I'm not sure. Maybe this girl's okay with what she's just, no, she's not okay. She's not okay. I don't know what's gonna happen here, but anyway. Yeah, let's go somewhere with this Gina Dozier. I don't know where, but maybe Gina Dozier would be the nice neighbor. And yeah, she, she look, she's telling these girls off. She's saying, look, you shouldn't hit people. So. Oh dear, things aren't going well with Blondie either. <laughs> okay, Gina, let's go. Let's just pretend that Gina said to us, okay, let's go somewhere. Seriously, let's go somewhere. Let's um, let's explore the town together. Let's. You can come back to my place. I will show you my house and we can sit and have coffee because these girls are not very nice girls and that, that could make things very difficult. So that is what we will do. So we are going to confirm the action. Apparently we have to get a plane ride there, which is a little bit frustrating. Do they have to get a plane ride somewhere? Not gonna lie. But we can go there anyway. We can explore the area, see what Gina's house is like. And she's been a super good neighbor to us, getting us away from that situation. Gina is older, of course, because her son is Tommy. So she is a young adult still, but she was very young when she had him. So that is a little bit about Gina. Now it's really strange because Gina Dozier actually kept her last name but the son is called Tommy Devoli, so that is her son. Yeah, so we're gonna speak to him. We haven't seen this Tasman girl yet who is the leader of the fakes, so I don't know. But I think that she definitely encouraged Tommy to speak to Jane because she'd say, look, I just found this girl at the Von Holt estate with a nasty group of girls who were hitting each other. She's new here, why don't you give her some company? Why don't you kind of show her around a bit and why don't you be nice to her? So that is amazing and I just love his hair. I love his hair. She's pushing him forward. She's already setting down the ground rules for him. She's like, right, that's it. No graveyards for you. No Van Holt estate. You cannot go there. You can go to the normal arms. You can go to the nice places around town, go for coffees, but just be nice to her. Introduce some people. Maybe you can introduce her to the fakes because the mum knows all about the fakes, but Gina doesn't know how nasty the fakes actually are. But anyway, Jane is going to brighten his day. She's going to give him a heartfelt compliment. She's just gonna be genuinely nice, this guy. He's in Team Bro, he's the leader. So she just wanna be nice to him, even though she has no intentions of, of course, joining that group, because that would be super, super awkward. And that would just be all round strange because that would be a girl in the group. And I don't know if a girl can be in Team Bro just yet. I'm not sure. In fact, maybe that would be a good idea, actually. Maybe I could create a girl jock. I'm just not sure. But yeah, this is a nice three-way conversation. I like the fact that Jean is monitoring it and she's staying really, really close to them just to make sure everything's going on nicely and they're making friends. I love Gina already. I just think that she's been so nice to do that and we never want to see that Kirsten again. This is a really nice chat that's going on here. I know that they're still acquaintances, but even so, I think that this is really, really nice. I don't think she'd gossip. I think that Jane would get to know them. I think that she'd want to uh, she'd ask about stuff. She'd be really, really curious as to what they do because for a house like this, she would definitely, definitely want to know like what they do for professions <laughs> and stuff. I mean, what did Gina do? And that is a very good question. Gina was actually an international supermodel when she met her husband, Roderick Devoli, and they hit it off straight away. Roderick was married and he ended up, unfortunately, ditching his wife for Gina, which doesn't make Gina the nicest person. Like, it kind of makes her a little bit ruthless, but still, she's she's being nice to us. 
And of course, Jane doesn't know anything about this yet. So probably go a bit more into that as time goes on. But I don't want Jane to feel out of place here. I don't want her to walk away. I want her to feel confident. I want her to make friends with these two. And I know that there's another jock in the house as well, which I think would be quite nice if we went inside. We explored their house a little bit and we saw what was going on. The house is pretty basic, I must say that, because it's one of my really early builds. It was a build which took me a really long time to build and I was not amazing at creating back then in fact I just kind of threw any old thing and I used a lot of moo and stuff which I don't use anymore but yes so that is that but there's another jock but he is actually sleeping in the bed so we won't do that that's actually Tommy's half brother Joel so we'll probably meet him at some point but I think for now we'll just go and socialize with Tommy so back to them, what are they up to? What are they talking about? I wanna go somewhere. I actually wanna go somewhere with Tommy. I want them to go somewhere. Oh, infuse about fruitcake. Is the fruitcake seriously coming back in this conversation? Are we seriously going through this again? I hope there's not gonna be an argument about what fruit is in the fruitcake again, because that was awkward with the sister. In fact, speaking of sister, we haven't really seen a lot of Scarlet and we actually abandoned her at the Norval Arms, which doesn't make Jane a very nice sister for doing that. I completely, completely forgot. But anyway, it's 1 a.m. or just past 1 a.m. at least. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make Jane go back home and meet her sister, meet her mum, get ready for school tomorrow. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get the next episode out pretty soon. But yes, please, please let me know what you thought of this in the comments, if you like the concept. If you want to add your own backstory to the characters, then just comment below and just let me know what you think, generally. Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll speak to you all in the next part.